This is a pretty significant deployment here with the bombers. It's not just a, a normal aircraft carrier. It's a, it's a really a, a battle group, if you will. Uh, and also what's unusual is that normally uh, the White House would not issue a statement with such bellicose language, basically saying we're sending this, these uh, military assets to this region, specifically looking at you, Iran. have continued to see uh, activity that leads us to believe that there's escalation that may be taking place. And so we're taking all the appropriate actions, both from a security perspective and well as um, uh, our ability to make sure that the president has a wide range of options in the event that something should actually take place. Eighty percent of your exports are from hydrocarbons. These sanctions, you can call them illegal, but are having an impact on Iran. And that is why we call it economic terrorism, because as they have said publicly, including Secretary Pompeo uh, and others, they want to put pressure on the Iranian people in order to change their policy. That is the way the United States has acted for 40 years, and particularly since President Trump came to office. It violated a commitment by another U.S. president, President Obama.